five black cops, five black cops were all sleeping with the same snow bunny officer and they all got fired. They lost their job because they could not help themselves from bunny hopping. I'm gonna be starting a petition to undo the 1967 Loving versus Virginia Supreme Court decision. I want to overturn the Supreme Court decision. I want them to revisit it. I want interracial marriage to be illegal in the United States. <gasps> I want interracial marriage between black and anything else. It can stay legal for everybody else. We must make interracial dating between black men and black women and all other races illegal. Whoa! Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Seriously, is this the dude y'all have that y'all y'all feel like he represent y'all? Is this the dude all of y'all praise and having such high regard and holding such high regard? Because this dude is a clown. And he's a part of what's wrong with not only the black community, but what's wrong with black men these days. Black men used to be the most live and left live men in the world. We have never cared about what nobody else did. He doesn't represent us. Dr. Umar Johnson doesn't represent me or my brothers. First of all, for such an intellectual, he's very dumb. You don't petition the Supreme Court to overturn a case. It don't work that way. It's, it's, you, know, you can't go to change.org and collect a thousand signatures and the Supreme Court is gonna review a case. It doesn't work that way. Secondly, that court case he's talking about, it did not make interracial marriages legal. It overturned uh, an illegal and unconstitutional law that made interracial marriages illegal. That's what the court case did. He got it all backwards. He, I mean, it, this dude is a clown, this dude is a fool. And he is the reason why we are in trouble. And I'm telling y'all, I am tired of sitting back and having the, the, the world believe that clowns like Dr. Umar Johnson represent Brother Kush, because he don't. First of all, he lied about the facts of a case. This Tennessee officer, police officer, right, this white chick, she was you know, um, sleeping with several other officers on the job, right? Umar, Dr. Umar Johnson get on his stream talking about five black men sleeping with this nobody, you know, and, and, and raw dog and, and, and all this loosey-goosey stuff, and, and, and they go home with their wives, and, and on and on and on. I want to make interracial marriages. First of all, they're not married to them. Making interracial marriage illegal won't affect them. That's first of all, they wasn't married to her. She was married to a white boy. This dude, is saying that if he had the ability, he would make interracial dating and marriage illegal. This is not the way of black people. That's not our way, bro. You don't have to agree with something or, 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 or like something, but we have never been the sort of people that would stop other people from pursuing their way of life. Who do you think these white folks learned about freedom from us? When they came here, we taught them about freedom. They come from a king system. They come from monarchies. They had no idea what freedom looked like until they came here and met us. Then they understood what a free society looked like. But true to their form as being devils, all they saw was opportunity in it. Be it as it may, the point is, we have never been the sort of people that want to stop other people from doing what they want to do. What you do in your personal and private life, I could never care about it. You couldn't offend me with that if you wanted to. Whatever you believe, whatever you do, I don't care. In fact, it's beyond the fact that I don't care. I am completely 100% indifferent. I won't even get caught up in it enough to decide whether or not I care. It is 
your life. I, it, it, it's your life. You do with it whatever you want to. But for a man to say that if I had the power, I would put you in prison for, for meeting a woman or meeting a man of another race that you click with and want to travel with them. I will make that against the law. That's evil. That's wickedness. That is not the way of black people. That is not the ways of a God. That is evil and wickedness. You could preach unity and anything you want to preach, but you cannot say that you will use force. You will use the same system that y'all complain about. Talk about how oppressive it is, how abusive it is towards black people, how discriminatory it is towards black people. You can't then turn around and say you, you would use that same system against your own brothers and sisters. Y'all have such a problem in y'all that it clouds your vision. White women are not the only women that black men marry. You got brothers that participate in my channel that are married to Asian women. So you saying they shouldn't be allowed to be married to Asian women? You got men in my channel that are married to Mexicans. So you saying they shouldn't be allowed to be married to a Mexican? And the vice versa. So you saying that a sister can't go out there and just click with a man that's not black? and live her life in peace and harmony and happiness, she shouldn't have that right. This is where they get the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness from, from us. And you get a black man that calls himself pro-black and pro-God and pro-spiritual and all this stuff, and he said that if he had the power, he would lock you in prison for simply wanting to find somebody that you can click with and live your life with, unless that person is black. Oh man, the, and, and see, I'm about to go full fledged on this on, on this topic, man, because on, on these people, because see, I never wanted to really be the one attacking them or, or talking about them, but I gotta show y'all what I'm talking about. I gotta use their words and beliefs to show y'all because some of y'all seem to think that I'm just hating. You dudes come at me for what I said about Reza Islam. Y'all act like I'm just hating on the dude. I don't care about what Reza do. I, I, I don't care. But when I see a dude Paul laying all in the Middle East riding on camels, but then he got pictures of him online where he hugged up and smiling with white folks at events. He all proud to be a white folks. White folks would want beer around Kush. But y'all call me the sellout. Them people would not want to be my friend. Those white people in high positions in state and federal government, they wouldn't want to be around me. Because I bring a different energy. I am real about what I do. I don't play. This is not a facade for me. This is not fake for me. This is a sadhu Allah. The lion of Allah. This is who and what I am. Them people would not want to be in the same room with me. They wouldn't want to be buddy buddy with me on nothing I do. And truth be told, Let's say we had a project that we could collaborate on. I wouldn't even take pictures with him like that. But like, nah, bro, we ain't gotta take all pictures and shit like that, but I ain't gotta be in it. I'll send you a representative over there. Y'all, you know, you send a representative, I send a representative, and they can take pictures, but I'm not about to be in it. Because them people, I don't feel like that towards them. My, listen, man, they cannot validate me. In fact, the truth of the matter is if they accept me, that's proof that I'm doing something wrong. Y'all love these dudes, but these dudes are not your friend. These dudes are living their best life by, by demeaning and disrespecting you. If he had the power, he would make it illegal. Why? Why do you care so much about what somebody else is doing with their penis? Why do you care so much about who's sleeping with who? Why? You care more about that than you do about the, about the people that shouldn't be sleeping together, you heard me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you more concerned with the wrong thing. And even those people, I wouldn't pass a law to stop them from doing what they do. I don't care. You can be gay and happy as you want to be. I don't care. 
just, just, just respect my mind. You know what I'm saying? Do it over there. Just respect my mind. I honestly don't care, bro. Do whatever you do for your life. Be happy in your pursuit. It's short. It's one life. Do you? Problem is, we are too filled with hatred. We're too filled with anger, and we mask all of this hatred and anger with pro-blackness. We have become devils. We have lost our way. That's not the ways of a black man. But every time they open their mouth, they talk about how oppressed we are and how, how much we still slaves and this and that. But you must feel real good if you want to go into the system and get the system to, 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 to be your hammer. You must not feel much like a slave at all. You can't feel all that oppressed if you think that you want to use the same system that's stomping on us every day against your own people. You obviously feel very, very good about where you are in life. And what's weird is that he still ain't said nothing at the, at the time of me filming this video, right? This is, the, this is Friday I'm film, filming this. At the time of me filming this video, he still hasn't said a word about the five black police officers that killed that brother. I think that was also in Tennessee. He ain't said a word about that. Look on his channel. But he could talk about five black men that didn't, don't even exist because there's only two of them. But he could talk about where they put in their penis. That upsets him so much that he is willing to go to the same system that they claim snatched us out of Africa and abused us and put us in chains. This is his belief. That system, he wants to partner with that system just so they can stop us from marrying anybody we choose to marry. And notice, it got nothing to do with whites because he say interracial marriage. So that's all people. That's all mixtures. All mixtures, all couplings. This is madness, bro. This is insanity. But these are the kinds of men y'all support. I recently seen a clip also of Reza Islam asked about interracial marriage and he gave some old roundabout answer about, about you know, since I love black women so much and I support the black community so much, I just want to see you. Oh man, save that, bro. We are at an irreconcilable problem right now. Let's just be honest. And I'm going to do a video on this alone. We are at an irreconcilable problem right now. Isn't this one of the, re the main reasons people get divorced? Irreconcilable differences. You go your separate ways. They created that because somebody obviously realized. See, y'all think, oh, they just did it so they could just let women out of marriages without no reason. Yeah, it's kind of. That's, that's kind of true. But the truth of the matter is, sometimes you reach an impasse. And when you reach an impasse, there's no amount of talking, negotiating, or nothing. There's nothing going to change where you are. The only thing you can do is clash until one of y'all uh, submits or is deleted or go your own way. That's it. So you can't clash till somebody submit or get deleted. So the only thing you could do when you have an irreconcilable situation is go your separate ways. And I'm trying to get y'all to reach that point of your own. And I, listen, I love my people, bro. I'm here as y'all brother. Y'all don't want to see it yet. Y'all want to make me your enemy, but y'all going to realize I am the only black man on YouTube that really care about black people. I'm the only one. None of these other people give a damn about black people, bro. These dudes with these men channels that talk about racism and, or, or, or females, all they sure don't give a damn about black people. All they want is a seat at the table and they feel like they don't have it. This is what motivates them, man. Being rejected is what motivates them. If they felt like they was actually in in, they wouldn't be on there talking about this stuff. They only talk about black people because they know that's the reason why they can't get in. Y'all want to be white acceptable. I don't. Y'all want to be white palatable. I don't. What these dudes want, they want to be accepted at the table, just them and their kind, and everybody else discriminated against. If they had that, they wouldn't be talking all this stuff. They wouldn't be talking all this stuff. They fake, man. And they are misleading y'all. Y'all need to stop supporting these people. For real. Now, do what you want. 
I'm listen, I'm tired of arguing with people that don't have the brain capacity to even understand what I'm saying. I try to be humble about this, man, but I get tired of telling y'all I am not a dummy. Y'all problems are y'all living y'all bubble. Y'all haven't met nobody like me before. Not that we not out there. We are just rare and we often don't talk. And that's the problem me and my kind have been making. We don't talk because we always find ourselves in opposition. We always find ourselves in arguments with people who can't even begin to even understand that how wrong they are. I'm tired of y'all coming at me sideways with these lame ass arguments, man. I don't talk out of my ass. I don't just make stuff up. I don't just pull stuff out my butt. When I say something, I'm saying what I know to be true. If it's an opinion, I will, I, I will prefix that with saying this is an opinion. I will say it. If I don't say that, I'm not speaking from opinion. I'm speaking from experience. And dudes like Dr. Umar Johnson are fake. Y'all should not be listening to him. Remember, he got educated under the same white system that he talks against all the time. That he then said he would go to and use that same white racist system to oppress the, the rights of people to get married, if he had the power. This is y'all leaders, bruh. These are the kinds of people y'all support. And y'all look at a brother like me and y'all think something wrong with me. I'm the sellout, right? Oh, Kush, you you just saying it because your wife, your, your wife not black. Okay. Okay. If you think that this is my position, just because my wife is not black, then you don't know me. Y'all can't recognize real no more. Y'all don't understand when you see something real in your face. You are so accustomed to fakes and phonies to the point where you can't even recognize real when you see it. My position has nothing to do with my personal life. My position has everything to do with me being a man of God and understand that human beings are supposed to be free to pursue their own way. Nobody should have the right to tell nobody how to live their life. And what you are seeing in Dr. Umar is all of the ills of the human mind, and he's a clinical psychologist. How do you like that madness? How do you like that? He's a clinical psychologist, and he is as crazy as anybody else out here. Now, I'm going to let you think about that. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Yes, my name is Kazim Bissam Asadullah, the Lion of Allah. Salam.